So I am on my way from work all the way across town to East Tennessee State University because Uncle Joey from Full House is doing a stand-up show tonight and it's free and I'm the whitest white girl to ever live. <laughs> so I have to go. I don't have time for Starbucks or I'd be going there first. I'm already wearing an oversized sweatshirt and leggings and I almost wore my Uggs today. Almost. I came very close to wearing my Uggs, but I did not. I did not have the time to put my Uggs on. Also, I did not want my feet to sweat that much. Well, Uncle Joey isn't going to let us record anything during this set. There are massive signs everywhere saying no recording. Yes. No, and I would feel very guilty because I genuinely liked Uncle Joey as a child and I don't want to be like, you know, being set down on a bench somewhere and being given a life lesson. I mean, unless John Samos is going to join him and give me that life lesson. Yeah, no, re no video recording or photography. And I also don't want him to think I'm texting the whole time because that's rude. So, oh, rude. I did run into him on the sidewalk though. That was pretty awesome. I didn't say anything because I was just like. I kind of just like looked at him and immediately looked down at the ground. I was just like. <laughs> He was wearing a hockey jersey. Of course he is. Mm -hmm. He's wearing a hockey jersey and jeans. And looks significantly older up close and personal than he does on TV. He, I don't want to think of him as that though. Because that means I'm because that means I'm getting old and that's not okay. So, Leanne and I are going to try a thing. A thing. We, um, well, I got Blue Apron. And I was going to cook his Caleb, but he went home this weekend to his dad's house. So, I decided that, since I love Leanne more than I love Caleb, <laughs> <laughs> that I would cook with her. So, I asked her which one she likes. Uh, well, I asked her if she likes fish. I knew you wouldn't like the other ones because one of them has mushrooms and onions in it and the other one has tomatoes and peppers. So <laughs> I was just like the other two are heavy on vegetables and if there's something that Leanne hates it's vegetables. It's vegetables. So I was like this one the closest it gets to vegetables is kale and grapes. Which I can handle. Yeah which she can tolerate. So we're gonna try a crispy catfish with kale Faro, 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 salad and warm grape relish, which it looks like just means heating up some grapes, but <laughs> I don't know exactly what that is, but. I can't believe you've never cooked grapes. I know, I've never cooked grapes. I'm just more excited about this lemon. I've been talking about this lemon for three days. I've never used a lemon before, like a fresh lemon. I mean, I used to be a server, so. I encountered lemon wedges all the time as a server, but I've never I've never purchased my own lemon. I'm super excited about my own lemon. It's my very own lemon. I know. And my very own garlic we're bulb. Gonna zest it. We are, we're gonna zest, we're gonna the, zest lemon. the lemon. I'm just super excited. So what we have here is our catfish and yeah. some rosemary. Some bag of kale and some Palm cord grape jammers. They like to jam. <laughs> that was so lame. Okay. That was such a dad joke. And a bulb of garlic. That's what they're called, right? Mm. Head of garlic, bulb of garlic. It's a garlic. <laughs> it's just a garlic. It's just a garlic. And a lemon. 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 And the cutest little tiny pat of butter ever. It's adorable. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm just amazed. I know. And the 
bear farm. <laughs> Whatever it is. is. This looks like little crunchy things. Yeah, and some almonds. I've been, I keep calling these pecans. I don't know why. They're almonds. Yeah. I keep a can thing of... I keep a can of them at my desk at work. And I eat them all the time. But I keep wanting to call them pecans. And some flour. Some flour. Flour. Some flour. And that's it. So, that is what we have to cook with. So, I guess we'll get started. Okay, so we're salting and boiling our water for the farro. And while that's going, we're going to wash all of our fresh produce, including our kale and our grapes. And then we're going to put the farro in after the water's boiled. And we're just going to chop the kale into small pieces and peel the rosemary off of its stems. And then make sure that there are no stems on the grapes and then chop the almonds. After that, just cook the kale in some olive oil and then fry the rosemary also in olive oil. This was kind of scary because the rosemary kept popping. <laughs> now for this came the kind of weird part. We needed to cook the grapes um, for the grape relish. I'd never cooked grapes before, so that was kind of weird. Um, again, this kept popping. I think there's something wrong with Leanne's stove where it just gets kind of too hot. Um, for the grape relish, though, you added in the chopped almonds after the grapes got kind of soft and then you squeezed in two pieces of a lemon um, then you added in the kale and garlic to the farro and just stirred that all together and put some more lemon juice into it after this we added in the catfish I didn't show flowering the catfish because I feel like that's kind of self-explanatory also, things got kind of hectic here, but we explained that towards the end of the video. It involved Leanne's dog. And just flip the catfish, make sure it's browned on both sides. Well, this is the finished product. Let's uh, let's compare it to what theirs looks. <laughs> you hold my plate. Oh, this is side by side comparison. I, I mean, it's not too bad actually. It's not that bad. No, I feel like I did pretty good. I feel like the rosemary's <laughs> the off part about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's black, but it's fine. We don't discriminate about our <laughs> rosemary here. Well, now let's let's try it. Excited, Leanne? Super excited. What about you, Sam? Are you excited? Are you excited? <gasps> Sam. Yeah. He's waiting for us to drop things. So that. That food was better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I don't know if it was two hours of preparation better, which no. it wasn't supposed to take that long. It probably just took us a long time. I don't know time. why. It took us a long time. We followed the instructions fairly well. Yeah, but mostly you were doing the cooking and I was still Well, but then, like, whenever I went to look at the instructions again, everything was like, oh, use the same skillet. Yeah. So... I don't know. I don't I just feel like it normally wouldn't take that long. I think it wouldn't either, but I also think a lot of things confused us. And we're just like, um... It was good, though. Yeah. Also, there was a time where we had to take a pause. Because Sam... Got, got a concussion. 
But he's fine now. <laughs> yep. He's fine. <laughs> he, he's very fine. <laughs> he's okay. <laughs> but I was worried. You were worried and now he's been sprinting for like 20 minutes and well, won't stop. Like, Ow! Sam! He sprinted like full speed into the ottoman. <laughs> yeah, he like ran head first into the ottoman and then just was... <laughs> and then wouldn't leave like our sides, like just sat there. It was and very calm and just sat there. It was very sweet. And yeah, it was very unsam like. It was very unsam like, but I'm not gonna lie, I kind of appreciated yeah. it. Like, because this is this is how Sam is. This is Sam like. This is this is Sam all the time. <laughs> so another video I had an outro for. Um. But then Leanne kept trying to send it to me. For some reason, Gmail just wouldn't cooperate. So, who knows? Um, anyway, if you enjoyed what we did, um, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Some of my videos are starting to get a lot of traffic, so that's really awesome. But anyway, um, the next video, Caleb and I make two Blue Apron meals. One of which, pretty good. One of which, not so great. So go ahead and definitely tune in for that one. Um, and then I'm going to have some pretty big news following the next videos. I'm going to try to start getting a regular upload schedule. And, um, also a website slash blog is coming forth. And I'm working on that one. So just stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.